Hello you guys, this is Colette Singatiosa for today's video. As you can kind of tell from the stand, well, and obviously by the titles, I am bringing you Amiibo updates. So, whenever I get a new one, I'm always going to show the ones that I own. I don't know why I feel the need to do that. I just feel like my brain will not accept me not showing it. I don't know why. But these are the ones, oh, you just kind of saw that. But these are the ones that I have so far. And I guess since she saw, I was going to save her for last, but since she saw the dress, I'll show you Rosa herself. So, I managed to get her without a pre-order. So, that's great. So, there she is. Let's, let's move that. Okay. There's the box. Let's do this instead. There's the back. Pretty uh, amazing, I'd say. And here's the actual figure itself. So that is pretty great. So what did I do? This was only Target exclusive and I've never done this before. So I actually went before the stores opened. My dad, I don't drive, so my dad took me. And I still got her. So that's pretty great. Small review. I... I didn't notice these little inconsistencies until I was reading about them, but for some reason the star in her dress seems to fade here, so I don't know why. It doesn't really bother me. And funny thing, I'm not being a pervert or anything, but there's like nothing in the bottom, so that's... I don't know, but she's got some pretty nice heels though, I like that. And the star Luma, and I'll be honest with you, I kind of wish they had a different paint for the finger. Her for her nails would have been nice if maybe she had green on would have made would have to me would have been nicer I don't know that's just me here's her little crown it's pretty cool the wand another inconsistency that's interesting was I didn't even notice it is for some strange reason her earring seems to be not seems but is painted on her hair like that so I don't know what's up with that it's kind of strange but other than that to guarantee yourself a Rosanina in Luma without a pre this applies to it without a pre-order unless you got screwed which I hope no one did is to go to your store at least an hour early and you should be okay to get one as long as there's no I'm, I'm sorry to say but assholes people like the ones that will actually run because I was reading, there's this site that I discovered, it's called reddit.com, and I, I don't know, I hope those stories were not true, but after reading some stories, I'm like, wow, people really will do that, like, actually run, shove people, and that's just horrible. So, yeah, that's pretty much the, at least for now, the only way, I don't even know if they're going to restock her, that's the problem. And, yes, so I don't know what's going to happen with her, but I managed to school myself. Without a pre-order. Keep in mind, none of these I've pre-ordered. None. So I feel grateful and lucky. So then the next one I'm going to show you is... <clears throat> come here. It's to Link. So I got this in the same place, Target. To Link. By the way, short story. Um, I asked my parents to go for Lucario without a pre-order and... Yeah, that didn't go so well, but I'm going to make a video, and if I actually remember to tell you what happened, I'll tell you. Okay, long story short, Toys R Us, they handled it pretty crappy, whereas Target handled it much better in terms of Rosalina without pre-orders. What was I going to say? Because they had more of her and less of Lucario without pre-orders. And, uh, I lost track of what I was going to say. Oh, and also, I didn't know the big thing is I did not know they were going to release them on Friday because it said 2-21-2015, so that was interestingly annoying. Had I have known, I would have asked to have gone early, not me, but here is to Link himself. I'm pretty sure you can see it through the iPhone, but the texture, I like how there's texture on it, and it's just, like, not his hat. Obviously, his hat. How it will be flat like this because it's not that. But that's neat because they could have just easily not put that in the detail of it. And I think that's pretty cool. By the way, did I even show you the bottom for this? Oh, and one last 
mm, I don't really care if it's greased at the bottom. But the last thing I wanted to show you is that for some reason her head actually seems breakable if you're not careful. So that's interesting. What's that little smudge over there? Eh, nothing too serious. But other than that, I think they designed him pretty well. His eyes scare me, though. <laughs> but now I got a uh, Toon Link and Link. It's interesting. I never thought in my wildest dreams I would be collecting Zelda merchandise ever. <laughs> Let alone all of them that are yeah, released so far. So one last look at a uh, Toon Link. I hear footsteps, and I will be mad if I have to record this again. So, nice detail and all that. So, let's put number 7 on here. I feel happy to have an even number instead of odd number, because my brain works like that. And the last one that I managed to snag up that Toys R <laughs> Target had was uh, Sheik. Now, I want to say a few things about Sheik, too, but like I said, I want to actually make a video about some things that I found out and hopefully I remember to explain everything because if I don't then yeah that's how much of a pain in the ass these amiibos are if I'm actually gonna forget something to tell you so here she is I like her a lot but what is that is that normal I don't know some people posted online like little mini problems here and there I, I don't know but again I did not expect to uh, have any Zelda merchandise but lo and behold it's more than Pokemon well technically due to the fact that I did not get Lucario and Pikachu is the only thing Pokemon related that is out so that makes more sense I'm going to try to end this video in 8 minutes like 7 12 right now the videos at so pretty cool if you actually have these it's it's interesting because you could just feel the in the detail on it so that's pretty cool for a small figure like this of course they're not gonna be like the most high 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 quality because if they were they would definitely not be thirteen dollars I can tell you that much and I lost track again so like I was saying for these quality I think they're pretty neat what's up with these little like, like, right this here. Is that normal? I guess it's just paint. I actually have another one. Hold on. I know. That's another story I'm going to get into. Um, it's a paint mistake. Interesting. So, it's definitely a paint blotch right there. Not that it matters. So, okay. So, one last look. And just because my memory is bad, I am so sorry if I didn't show you the bottom of two Link. I know I did Rosalina's. So, long story short, I got two of these. Now, first of all, I'm not a scalper. And second of all, there's a reason why I have two of them. So, I'm definitely going to be returning them. But, uh, for now, they're here. And obviously, they're not going to be open because I'm going to return them. Because I don't really care about buying doubles. I just want one. I want to save that money. And it looks like I'm going to get 9 minutes to this video. And spend it on more Amiibos versus that. And I don't care about custom my customization. Customizing. But hey, everyone loves to do that. Or not everyone, but out there people have done that. And I've seen them. And they're pretty cool. They take paint and they actually paint them. So I guess that's another reason to buy these. So there you have it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And next video, I'm going to actually be doing stories of amiibos. So bye, you guys.